Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> Try not to fall down the stairs. You ever fell down the stairs? I haven't, but I'm sure it's unpleasant. Um, we are going to do a little walk around today. My first garden update for the year. I actually have a garden to update on. So let's just kind of go around the yard here and see what is blooming here in spring in northwest Georgia. This stuff has been coming back for years. Don't know the name of it. Um, this is probably, I don't know, fifth or sixth year that it has come back. If you know what this is, feel free to let me know. My strawberries. I'm getting ready. to have a bunch of strawberries. I am pumped. This is the bed I made last year. Uh, we probably got five or six strawberries from it last year, but this year, I mean, it is, you know, you can see it's already getting plenty strawberries. I'm looking forward to this, very pleased. My neighbors have a bunch of Leland cypresses over here, and I trimmed a lot of this stuff back. And since I have, all of my plants back here have been doing great, better than they have in a long time. And I've had irises back here forever. And I bet they have not bloomed in years, years. But I mean, I want you to look at them now. They're all blooming out, pretty. They look great, still look healthy. And you can see where I have taken the pool out. So that part of the yard hopefully will be getting some grass pretty soon. And I've got to fix my deck. I've got to take it, disassemble part of it there, and get it finished in on this side. Okay, main garden bed. My blueberries are starting to come in. Um, I planted this bush last year. So it's going to start producing a little bit. You can see there's a few little blueberries coming in there. Um, this is some parsley that we threw out um, at the end, you know, in the winter last year and it never died. So I stuck it over here uh, in this bed and it's progressing pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have in this um, right here, I've got like all of my herbs. Uh, basil, sage, all that kind of stuff. I just planted it in seed. I'm just going to see if it does okay. Uh, I got some cucumbers and some uh, cantaloupe. Um, and these two beds that, you know, I had growing from seed and I've hardened them off and everything so they're out here. That's a pepper. I just stuck in there extra pepper. Um, over here, I'm going to have where those sticks are. That's my three rows of okra, which I did spectacular last year. So I'm hoping for the same. Uh, usually my okra does pretty good. I've got, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. I've got a um, row here of peppers, like a, a variety of bell peppers and jalapenos goes right down through there. Um, have three uh, squash plants on this end, four tomato plants where the cages are right there. There's my squash grew it from seed. It's the first year I've grown stuff from seed. Um, now that one's looking a little shaky, but it was dry when I put it in. The tomato plants. I want to say I have two Roma and two beefsteak that survived my seeding process. And down here, three other peppers. I have like bell pepper types and um, jalapenos. Three jalapenos and then like six bell pepper type plants. So, I'm going to tell you, when I came out here and I planted this stuff, um, the soil looked better than it has ever looked. Uh, I've kept this hay on it all year, uh, threw some fertilizer out there uh, once or twice. I have put, I mean this this has like plants that I had left it out here to let them decompose. Um, ash, I've thrown ash out here. Uh, so my soil isn't in good shape for the first time in a long time, but it looked great. 
My blackberries did awesome last year. Uh, they're already starting to get a few little flowers on them there. You can see those. So I've got a nice little patch here. I just have to keep it kind of reined in. But uh, I'll, I'm expecting plenty of blackberries again this year. This year I grew my tomatoes in the bags. Uh, this year I'm not doing the tomatoes because they didn't bear like they should have. They grew great. Uh, just didn't really bear like I wanted them to. So uh, I have stuff in here like lettuce. Um, I have, I want to say some broccoli. To be honest with you, I don't even remember what all I planted in these <laughs> in these bags yesterday. Uh, but I've got them over here are like in partial sun. Um, they dry out a little faster. You really have to kind of watch them. So I've got them over here next to my water source. Now this is a beautiful, I want you guys to see this. I have in my backyard a tulip tree. And it is not something you see everywhere. I mean, there are, this thing is loaded with flowers. I guess they're, I don't know if you call them flowers when they're on a tree or not. But they are absolutely gorgeous. Like there's one up there with the sun shining through it. It's very, there it is right there. Let you guys get focused in on that. Uh, they are just beautiful. This is a beautiful plant. I mean, just really spectacular. This tree has these all over it. And you don't see them everywhere. This is not something that, you know, I have seen all over the place. But man, these are some pretty flowers and you really can miss it. It's one of those things that blooms in the spring that unless you're really looking at, you just don't get to see it. Look at those. They're all, all in this tree. It's covered with them, the whole tree. Getting the birds and the bees today. Have my knockout roses up here. Um, these are really really pretty this year very healthy full of buds I already need to get out here and start trimming some stuff off dead flowers dead roses up here uh, I tried to open this up over here this year where they would have more Sun um, I've cut out some of the limbs that blocked that tree so they're getting more sun morning sun but you can see beautiful flowers now I don't have azaleas but I do have rhododendrons and this one is starting to bloom on this side these are really pretty I've never had for some reason, a lot of luck with azaleas. These rhododendrons are lovely. How pretty. And look at this clematis. That's such a pretty flower on these. And it's really growing very well this year. And of course, my amaryllis. These are always pretty love these one of my favorites pretty good first garden update for the year let's see how things progress you guys have a good day on Nichols retirement empire